Recently, NAS America announced that they'd be releasing the Caligular Effect Overdose and its sequel on PS5 for the first time. With little to no information about what was new in it, that made me wonder why these games that were also on PS4 were coming out again. I loved these games though, so I was more than happy to receive a code for Overdose's PS5 version to see if they're worth reinvesting the time, and since I spent over 10 hours playing this game that I've already finished, my time revisiting the Caligula effect felt like time well spent getting reacquainted with its world. So today, I want to go over if the PS5 version of the Caligula Effect Overdose is worth it for those who have or haven't played in this world full of musicians and complexes, and what it's like to play this psychology-infused story that mixes shades of Monarch and Persona 4 years after its release. The reason I wondered why the Caligula Effect Overdose was coming to PS5 now is because it's already fully playable on PS5 already. As we wait for this PS5 version coming from May 30th, you could buy the PS4 version now with some of its DLC even being free. So with the PS5 version not promising better graphics or any extra free stuff in this new version, it seemed like an odd decision to rehash this game, a decision I quickly stopped overthinking about when I remembered how much I loved it after watching its new trailer. I am, however, pleased to report back after my time with the PS5 version to say that there is at least one difference between PS4 and PS5 Caligula Overdose, and that is it does actually look better on PS5. I don't know if it's the better technical capabilities of PS5 or if everything has been up more intentionally, but after playing the two versions back to back and comparing footage, I definitely noticed that characters' faces were much sharper and easy to see well in this new version, along with occasionally noticing things like the floors looking nicer that help this to feel much more fitting on PS5. The only thing that wasn't improved were perhaps the close-ups and special attacks that seem a bit blurry compared to things like its story scenes where I could appreciate the new sharpness, but otherwise the visual upgrade is a nice touch, especially if it's your first time jumping into the world of Caligula. Whether or not it's worth playing again for those who have already will be more up to the individual as I haven't found anything else new aside from the visual upgrade. It's also worth noting that save data from PS4 also doesn't carry over, so if you are replaying it, you will have to restart from scratch, which could be pretty hit or miss, especially with those who already have Overdose on PS4 and could just use their clear data. The PS5 version reminded me that I had yet to do the Austin Auto Musician route, and since many years have passed since the original release, I wasn't too bothered about having to start again. But it is worth considering all these things before you pay for it, especially twice, but I think the decision will be a little easier for those who are playing for the first time and want to experience the story of Mew, the Go Home Club, and this music-influenced world. With my want to get more into the Austin Auto Musician route, I spent more time than usual checking out what was new in this re-release and instead treated this as a true start to my second playthrough of Overdose. I haven't finished this alternate route yet, but I got a bit further than I did last time and found it fascinating to play today, with some events reading risque and others that deal with things like body image and gender, possibly even leaning towards being downright offensive to some by today's standards that was honestly something I'd forgotten about since playing and may be worth looking into further if they concern you and you plan to pick it up. I've already played and enjoyed Caligula's overall story personally though, and enjoyed in this second playthrough thinking about it a little more deeply than before as I spent time talking to as many students as I could to see their complexes and try and complete their quests as this was something I didn't do nearly enough of in my first playthrough. I found it all came to serve an exploration of different psychology and complexes, with creative ways to solve these problems like equipping anxious students with accessories signifying confidence being unique steps that lead you to find out how much of the school ended up in the world of Mobius in the first place. And on top of this, I also enjoyed diving more into the main character's events that made me realize how they foreshadow events while letting me know more about their issues, which suggests to me that a slower and more thorough playthrough of this story could make it even better. The desire for a deeper experience with Caligula led me to try the Austin Aro Musician route that comes in at about 10 hours after playing. Generally, I try not to talk too much about stuff beyond that point because of spoilers, but I will say that it was pretty fun to explore this other side of the story that manages to expand on both the good and bad sides in this world. It adds a nice extra layer where the musicians feel less weak since you can use them as capable party members that actually do well compared to their easier boss battles, with the cherry on top of that being you can get to know them just as much as the Go Home Club through their social events. Pair that with the 500 students in the school that granted have some repetition among them, it's a game that would be easy to spend much more time with thanks to all the optional dialogue that is waiting to 
to be discovered. So this full dive into extra voice events and moments seems just as the ostinaro musician's route is presented to the protagonist, which is as a good way to get to know both sides and decide where you stand from there. With the bonus of looking better than ever in this new version, there is definitely good incentive to do so as this new visual updates lets anyone visit Mobius again and have more incentive to stay a little while longer, just like many of the characters in its complex world. Revisiting the Caligula effect is something I've wanted to do every time I've had the urge to listen to one of its great songs, and this new PS5 version let me finally do this in a sharp new way. While you won't find new mechanics or new content, this overdose version is already full of more than enough for anyone to get through, and playing around with its Austin Art Musicians route was a good way to explore another side of the world I hadn't yet, all while enjoying the extra smoothness and visual sharpness that this PS5 brings to a game that I once really enjoyed. It makes me wonder a little about how Caligula 2 will manage to look better in this PS5 version, as it was already an upgrade in visuals from the first one, so I wonder if we'll be able to notice as much of a difference in that Caligula re-release too. When it comes to Overdose though, its new PS5 version is absolutely worth a look if you're dying to play it again or if you haven't played it before, as the best version I've seen of this musical and dynamic story and world. Thank you for watching this video, let me know in the comments below if you've tried Caligular Overdose and if you'll try this PS5 version. You can like and share this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel for more JRPG content like this, and ring that bell to get notifications on whenever I post so you don't miss a thing. You can check out more videos here and you can find me on social media, on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, all at JRPG Jungle. Links to those will be in the description below, and thank you to NIS for the code, and until next time, thank you, bye!